Welcome back. We're continuing the news. Yet another scam on the rise, not new globally, but spreading in Jamaica. Romance scam, where fraudsters develop intimate relationships with unsuspecting victims before fleecing them of hundreds of thousands of dollars. As Giovanni Dennis reports, the Bankers Association is putting customers on alert. This is how it started. An approach on social media site TikTok. Hello, with a smiley face emoji to get the attention of the person. Exchanges begin, relationships blossom. It's fairly common. This, however, is not innocuous. This is the beginning of a well-coordinated scam. A romance scam. Think Tinder swindler, but not meeting the person. This was February 15, a month ago. Richard Hare from Romania targeted victim Vicky. We've changed her name to protect her identity. He said he's a business person. So what happened is that we even did a call, we talk a little. I mostly me want to see if the person is a short person. I even see look on these pictures on TikTok. So most of them is like videos, but it's really like looking like him. They spoke in the following days and weeks leading up to March, her birthday month. Richard from Romania, who she believed she had developed a close relationship with, offered to send her a package. The package consists of $15,000 US, a laptop, a iPhone, a bracelet and also a perfume set. So he sent me a receipt with my name, everything on it. She even received this photo as evidence of the money being sent and also videos of Richard in store buying the items and pictures of him shipping them off to her. She received this WhatsApp from Anthony claiming to work at diplomatic security services at Sangster International Airport. But there was a catch. He said I supposed to deposit a sum amount of money before I can get it. The first deposit on March 6, 8.17 a.m., $55,000. She was told this was a clearance fee. Then another payment. They said that they find a sum of amount of $15,000 U.S. in the package and I should pay a sum of $180,000 sort of for the money in the package. She paid a further $120,000 at 11.08 a.m. that morning, a further $60,000 at 12.33 p.m. She was told this was for money laundry or money abusing because money was in her package. Then she deposited $150,000 for insurance and a further $70,000 the following morning. In total, she was scammed $455,000. She only stopped after calling the real Sangster Airport and was told there was no diplomatic security service department. Let me say, oh, what is me get myself in now? She has not heard back from Richard since. I thought it was a birthday gift because he said he really want me to come over with my kids. Victim Vicky reported the scam to NCB. In recent times, um, Giovanni would have seen um, a proliferation of what referred to as Roman scam. This is a form of social engineering where fraudsters are um, perceived to lure customers via different social media platforms. They appear to be um, seeking love, but the ultimate aim is to deceive the customer. Dane Nicholson is head of special investigation at NCB and a chair of the anti-fraud committee in the Jamaica Bankers Association. Since February, there have been an average of 10 similar reports weekly, a spike. These videos obtained by our news team have been sent to victims as part of the trick. What they will do is um, purport to be sending luxurious items, Louis Vuitton bag, um, Samsung phones, um, large sums of cash and that they need to pay for the custom fees and other duties at the airport. The victims are mostly vulnerable women, all age groups. He recalls his team trying to protect an elderly lady from the scam recently. We convince her not to send the funds because it is a fraud. And a couple of days she visit another branch, send off the money and then in another couple of days she come crying to us but we say we told you. Victim Vicky has reported her case to the police, desperate to get back her money.
The Bankers Association is urging customers not to share personal information with people they meet online and use common sense. You don't need to send any amount of money overseas to clear the package. That is one of the clearest red flags because if you send you $100 and it's $40 to clear it, tell him to send in $60 then. Jim.